thrust reverser, deactivation and lockout. This procedure is carried out when a fault occurs on a thrust reverser which cannot be repaired for the next flight. Deactivation and lockout are therefore provided to secure the translating sleeves in stowed position when the aircraft has to be dispatched with an inoperative thrust reverser. First, on the engine start panel, check that the master lever is at off position and install a warning notice stating not to start the engine. On the maintenance panel, make sure that the engine FADEC ground power switch is off and install a warning notice. On the engine, open the left fan cowl door. Gain access to the hydraulic control unit, move the lever to deactivate the thrust reverser and install the safety pin to hold the lever in the off position. Make certain that the translating sleeves are in the retracted position. Lock out each translating sleeve by using lock pins. For each translating sleeve, remove the thrust reverser lock pin from the lower lock pin receptacle and the dummy pin from the upper lock pin receptacle, then interchange them. Note the red head of the lock pin, which extends above the surface of the sleeve to indicate the lockout. Close the fan cowl door and make sure that the working area is clean and clear of the tools and other items. Finally, in the cockpit, remove the warning notices. And install a placard indicating that the corresponding reverser is inoperative and noted in the logbook. <laughs>